some of these reunions go well, some of them don't go well. Some of them are like, wow, I wish I was back before we reunited here. I don't think this is one of those situations, but I think this could go off the rails. And you have to do things in a way that respects each other's lives, each other's histories. And Shaq's a really good friend of mine. We've known each other a long time. We've done a movie together. We've, we have a good time. But I did a, a podcast interview with him and he had not known his biological father. And he talked about that and what he had to do stepwise. And it's very relevant here. So I wanted you to hear this and then tell me what you think about what he has to say. Let's take a look. So my mother calls me, says, you need to meet your biological. I'm like, well, I'm good. I'm 47, I got six kids, mom, it's all good. So I was like, okay, I'll meet him. And then crazy thing is, in Oakland, New Jersey, there's this restaurant that I always go to, a soul food restaurant. And there was a guy in there, a chef, he always used to look at me and just start crying. And he was my father's best friend. Really? And my biological father lived upstairs. So one day we go to the restaurant, we have a good conversation. And it ain't about what happened, because I've learned you can't judge a man. I don't judge. You know, he, he had some problems when he was young. I don't judge him. I don't follow him. You know, my thing now is just that as long as we're both here, we just get to know each other. I don't ask him what happened. I know what happened, but I don't ask him. We don't talk about it, and I don't, hey, man, how come you? I'm not the judge and the jury. My job is to just love him as, as, as much as I can now. Do you talk to him occasionally? Probably, probably once every other week. Oh, Cause, really? Yeah, because he's sort of like me. He don't like to bother people. He just, you know, he'll, he'll call me, hey, what's up, man? What's happening? What you doing? So you get along when he's there? You yeah, talk of about course. stuff? No, we don't talk about anything. Just eat and have a good time. Has he met your children? He met my oldest daughter. But she was glad to meet him? Yes. Yeah, it's good to mean the history. Yes. You know, you yes. got your roots. I mean, it's you see your history, whether she's active with him or not, at least she knows that piece yeah. of the puzzle, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll, and that's a, a, a brief excerpt from that, and I'll tell you what he went on to say. Um, I asked him if he had met all of his children yet. He said, no, he hasn't met all of my children yet, and I haven't moved him in with us. I haven't, you know, integrated him fully into our lives, but I'm taking this a step at a time because... When adults meet, they have to build a relationship across time, and I'm respecting my family who have not known him, and I'm respecting his life because he has a pattern and friends, and so we're taking this a step at a time and making sure that neither of us disrespect, disrupt, or dishonor the lives and families that we have. What do you think about his philosophy there? Shaq's a very bright and sensitive guy, by the way, and nobody counseled him about that. That's just the way he approached it. What do you think yeah, about what he's saying? I think that's a good idea, but I mean, it's been two years now, and he did rush himself and the family 